Hello everybody, Mark and Colleen Berry here today with another Food for Thought episode. Uh, today we just want to talk about soul food. Mm -hmm. um, here at Breadbasket we just finished another day of uh, food distribution. Uh, we had about uh, 90 clients, households that came to Breadbasket for assistance and uh, today we provided some really nice nutritious food. We had uh, pork, chicken, um, fish, um, several uh, varieties of vegetables, fresh vegetables, um, uh, dairy products, um, all the kind of things that you really like to have in your own pantry, in your own refrigerator. And uh, the reason you need that is because good food is, I mean, you are what you eat, as they say. <laughs> and so uh, you, we need really good quality food to eat. And that's one of the goals at Bread Basket is to provide that really good quality food and you know, stay away from the junk food, right? So, um, uh, but there's, a, there's also an analogy and it's, there's, there's an easy comparison that we can switch over to what, what is happening to our soul. What's happening on the inside of us? What's happening in our inner man that um, is related to what we're putting in our mind or what we're not putting into our mind? And so uh, we call that our soul food. And here at Bread Basket, uh, we have a, uh, a thing that we, Bread Basket, we have a goal to support uh, to nourish both body and soul. And so, uh, uh, Colleen, what do we do at home? How do we do this at house? At the house? What's going on there? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it makes it easy to do bread basket because we try to feed the clients the same things that we would want to eat. And we do want to nourish our bodies. So we work real intel um, uh, intentionally at ensuring that we have good healthy dinners and, uh, and you know, the occasional snack, but create a good balance. But we do also focus on ensuring that we get some good soul food. So one of the things I love most about what we do together is we get in the Word together. Absolutely. Um, you know, one of the things that we started uh, almost from the beginning of our relationship was celebrating a Sabbath on every Friday evening that we turn off the television. Yep. Uh, you know, if we're home and, and uh, you know, everything you know, kind of goes our way there. We uh, take time for the Word. We do praise and worship. Um, we end up in a really great discussion about the Word. Yes, and we, uh, we talk about things that the Lord has spoken to us. We talk about our own life story and how, what God's doing in our lives. And so, um, uh, you know, I was thinking about the, uh, the ingredients. I call them the essential ingredients for spiritual nourishment. Number one, the Word of God. Absolutely essential that we hear the Word of God, that we know the Word of God, that mm -hmm. we have a big view of what the Word of God is saying to us. Uh, number two, worship and praise. Uh, to praise and worship the Lord is so powerful. Uh, it's, it's something that we give to God, but, but it's, it does something to our souls. Mm -hmm. it, it, it rewards our soul as we praise Him. Uh, and the third thing is prayer, obviously. And, and another one that's very important um, uh, that we kind of take for granted sometimes, but fellowship with other believers. I call those the, the four essential mm -hmm. food groups, mm -hmm. spiritual food groups. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, you know, I was thinking about uh, 2 Timothy uh, 1 7 that says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. And that's something that everybody's worried about. They're worried about the COVID, um, they're worried about, um, you know, catching a disease or uh, getting sick. Uh, and they're, you know, all sheltering at home and they're all hunkered down for fear of, of, of something happened to them, uh, getting sick or something. And there's obviously there's some good reasons for that. But you can't let the spirit of fear control your life. Absolutely so, not. So uh, uh, first, first, Second Timothy 1, 7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a what? A sound mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, Mark, it's interesting because the world wants to feed you all kinds of fear. And the challenge with that is that it's everywhere and it can be really tough to avoid. Um, so you've got to create a good balance. It, it would be like if, if I fed us sugar and cakes and candies uh, every night for dinner. Well, none of us would be nourished. We surely wouldn't feel good. We'd have a whole lot of brain fog and definitely extra unwanted weight. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> and don't you find that we can have a diet of consumption of news and information that can do a lot of the same thing, weigh yeah. us down pretty heavy. Absolutely. Um, you know, just recently, um, uh, I, you know, we all have our spiritual battles, but there's something powerful when we visit these four spiritual food groups. Um, it is our, it, it's a, it's a defense. We defend ourselves mm -hmm. against this, uh, 
this, uh, this fear. We defend ourselves against this emptiness and this um, worldliness. And um, it's like God is inviting us into his circle. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 91, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then he says, I will say unto the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, fortress and in you will I trust. And I would encourage you to get a Bible t uh, right now and go get it and, and look at the whole uh, Psalm. It's just fantastic. And um, it's just about God protecting us as we are near Him, as we surround ourselves with Him yeah. by doing these four things and, and walking in, these, in His ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Nothing quite like a good dose of soul food. Absolutely. So, well, you know, um, one of the things also, Colleen, that uh, we have had a lot of interaction with our clients and, and many of them have been asking, when are we going to start services again at Breadbasket? Mm -hmm. And good news is that we are starting to uh, worship again on Sundays. Hallelujah. You know, we're doing it safely uh, using, um, uh, you know, the protocols that are recommended, you know, safe keeping distances and washing hands and wearing masks and all the good things that we need to do. But it's, um, it's important to uh, the other part of us, the inner man. We're taking care of the outer man really well, mm -hmm. but we got to take care of the inner man and we got to do this too. And uh, we've already got some really good testimonies of, of uh, and some good responses from our, our service last Sunday. Yeah, we got um, some sweet feedback from one of our ladies named Mary who said, you know, I have the Lord at home. He's in my life and in my heart, but gathering together, that, I needed that. I needed to be fed that way. Absolutely. So yeah. it, it really does go to show, Mark, that the choices we make in the ways we feed our soul are as important as the choices we make in the ways we feed our body. Right? Amen. Good. All right. All right. Well, listen, it's an honor and a privilege. Thank you for watching this. And, um, and uh, uh, please pray for us. And yeah. we'll be praying for you. And uh, uh, God is good. And he's doing great things in our world and in our city. Um, we're gonna be talking more about these four food groups in the uh, future uh, episodes. Yep. And so um, thanks for watching. God bless and have a great day in Jesus' name, amen.